Hey guys, this is Shane and welcome to my Curator of the Lost channel. And hey, I wanted to take a minute and I hadn't done one in a couple of weeks, uh, do a Amazon selling update. Um, you know, if you're, if you, if you follow my channel for any length of time, you know that books are my thing. You know, I, if, you know, if I see cool, I'm gonna buy cool, but most of what I find, you know, 99% of what I do is, is in the book genre, right? And then historically, I've been an eBay seller. Okay. So March of this year, no, May of this year, 2022, I finally took the plunge and got a Amazon account. And so it's been, this is, uh, you know, mid July. So it's been, you know, roughly about 10 weeks or so since I've had this Amazon thing. I'll give some updates here and there. And you know, I've, I've been an eBay seller, like I said, for over 20 years, but, um, you know, this Amazon thing is kind of new and, you know, the ups and downs and the differences that you know, I've said in previous videos on my updates that, you know, I think that Amazon is a lot more complicated, at least it's for me. Maybe it's just because I'm an old dog, you know, old eBay dog and, you know, but anyway, I've been having some, some good success with, with Amazon. And in particular, I wanted to give an update that, you know, it, it started off kind of slow and then I got a couple of sales. I did get a review. I started to actually turn a profit, you know, and after everything was paid for, I was, you know, had made profit. But then in the last eight days, I'll, I'll do some pop-ups. I've sold like $500 worth of stuff. And I had like eight days straight that I sold at least one book. I like sold a 12 books total. So my average sales price is, um, you know, it's, it's like 40, $41 a book uh, over the last eight days. And it's really the first week that I really, really see the benefit and the bonus of having the multiple sales channels, meaning what I'm selling on eBay and that I'm doing as you know, merchant fulfilled on eBay and on Amazon, I'm doing fulfilled by Amazon. So I have the upfront, you know, packaging, send it in, but then they handle it all. You know, you pay for that, but they handle it all. So the difference in having both of those running concurrently I really see the benefit from it this, this last week, uh, the past eight days, you know, I had on eBay, I think I sold, um, 13, 14 books around $300 worth. And it was, you know, average sales price was like 21, $22. And then I sold another 12 books on Amazon, like I said, for, it was like right at 500 bucks. And the big one on that was, um, I sold this, um, a few, few weeks ago, I showed this, uh, the art of color book. And I said, and that sold for like a little over 200 bucks and I kind of I priced it competitive. So it would sell quicker. And it did like 210 bucks or something. Then I sold this book. It was interesting, a book on orange County. Um, I'm not, not orange beach down here you know, on the Gulf shores area. And what was interesting about that was I had previously had that book listed on eBay. It was an inscribed copy. And it sold for 70 or 80 bucks on Amazon. I'd had that listed on, on eBay for probably six months and hadn't sold. So when I was converting things over to Amazon, I went through my eBay stock and picked, you know, several things that I thought would sell good on Amazon and went ahead and sent them in. And then it's, it's, it's great that that paid off a fairly quick sale. You know, it's been there maybe, maybe a month, maybe five weeks or so. And it's, it's sold and sold for that price. So, you know, two of those books that I sold, you know, I, I made like 270, 280 bucks out of the 500. So over half on two books, which is, it's also a testament that you, um, you know, that, that you don't, everything you sell doesn't have to be high, right? You can sell a lot of 10 and $20 books, and then you can have some of these, the high dollar ones that really get your average up. And that, that's kind of cool. So, but you know, w with the slow start, uh, it really does affirm what I'm trying to do. And um, you know, this, this past week when I've had book sales every week on Amazon and they just go and I don't have to ship them, let the FBA handle it. And it does actually, um, makes me think that if I were doing this full time and if I, well, I think you'd have to do it merchant fulfilled on everything, but the concept of cross listing is really interesting when you start seeing multiple storefronts going. And I know that takes time you may have to get a one, another service that's you know like um you know that allows you to do the cross listing and and i'm not sure some of those cross listers if you have to be careful about um i don't know about this to be dangerous right uh i'm not sure if some of it if if you have to have um 
like you can't list at different prices on different platforms if that gets you in policy violations or not. I don't know. Just it's something I think about, right? But it, it does. It is interesting for for people. And I'd be interested in your opinion that if you are also selling on multiple platforms, are you thinking about doing cross listing, or do you you know do you cross list your books, and how does that work out for you? So it's just an interesting topic for some conversation on on the channel uh, from people that may be doing it. I'm not right now because. You know, I fulfill my eBay stuff myself and I let Amazon do, you know, fulfill the Amazon on the other. But anyway, it's going good. You know, I'm hopefully, I'll just, it's, I think the slow start, it's also, you know, it's what I, I've preached a lot, you know, different videos is that, you know, I think this is a good lesson for anybody that's thinking about doing this. Um, you know, it does take a little time. It's been two and a half months and I'm starting to see it, starting to see it, but I'm starting to get my inventory built. You know, I'm around, um... You know, I had close to 180 books, but I've sold several. I just shipped some more in. So probably by the end of the weekend, I'll have around 200 books somewhere in the Amazon ecosystem, either on the store or on a truck or, you know, somewhere in the ether, right? Amazon ether. But, you know, slowly but surely building that inventory, I think is you, that's the key, right? You see cool, you buy cool, you build that good inventory, and then it pays off. And you just have to be a little bit patient, keep up the work, and it happens. And that's what I'm finding it's playing out this way, but it was, it was a nice week. I actually sold more on Amazon this last week than I did on eBay. And, but having the two channels is working, two sales channels is working. And, um, just wanted to give that update and, uh, hopefully you guys, uh, you know, like I said, see cool, buy cool, then list it, sell it, and uh, hopefully you have some fun along the way. So we'll talk to you soon. Bye.